Almost everywhere we go, people ask us, Pastor, do you think we're living in the end yeah. times? And yeah. I, I, I do. I believe yeah. we're closer to the coming of the Lord than we can even imagine. Yes. Let me say that again. I believe yep. we are closer to the coming of the Messiah than we can even imagine. Mm. Everything is shouting to us yes. the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Yep. So why are the seven churches of Revelation yeah. important to us? Yeah. Listen to this. The seven churches of Revelation are God's blueprint. Yes. Number one, yes. not to miss the rapture. Right. And number two, go out in the full yes. blessing of God. Yep. Stay with us for the whole month because we're going to show you what not to do Mm -hmm. and what we're called to do. Yes. And I read the end of the book. If we hear and see what God is saying, yeah. the end is going to be marvelous Woo. for us and our family. Amen. Stay with us. The seven churches, prophetic revelation is waiting for you right now. We're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. You know, when, when the Lord first started dealing with me to teach yeah. in church here yeah. on the seven churches of Revelation, it was, you know, COVID was here right. and the vaccination passport and we're yeah. talking about the mark of the beast right. you can't buy or sell and all these things and so i'm i'm I, i'm feeling like god wants us to teach yeah. on the seven churches of revelation right. because these are prophetic yeah. understandings right. of the last days right. but when as we begin to study these things and i and Ooh. and I studied these for months and months and oh, months yes. and and delve into not only the Christian yeah. revelation, but the yeah. Jewish, the rabbinical revelation of what's being yeah. taught. And it dawned on us, and I want you to receive this, because we can only give you a little bit of this yeah. uh, in 26 minutes. But it dawned on us that what this is... Yeah is Jesus giving us a blueprint. You know, Luke, my son, said it in the back. It's a blueprint, number one, not to miss the rapture. Because right. when you look at, when, when the Lord is finished with the seven churches, there's no more mention of the church. Ooh. Because either we make the rapture, right. or right. we're left behind, we're right. not the church, and right. you go through the tribulation. Yeah. So number one, the teaching is what, to avoid what to do to make the rapture. rapture. Because I'm telling you folks, God is shouting at us yeah. in Bible prophecy every day, yeah. tis that we are closer to the coming yeah. of the Lord than we can even imagine. And let me just say that when you started uh, studying that series, Larry, there were evident things, COVID and all these different things. But even in this short period of time till now, I mean, it's escalated. Oh, it, it, the signs, I mean, it's, the it's like a locomotive, yeah. like an avalanche coming yeah. faster and faster and faster. Yeah. And so it, it's, you know, it, when, you, when you first think of Revelation and you think of the seven churches of Revelation, you yeah. think of doom and gloom. Right. But it's not because at the end, God says, those who have eyes to see or those yes. who have ears to hear, yes. listen to what yes. I'm saying. Yes. And so if we miss it, if we don't do, or if we continue to do right. what God says I am not pleased with, yeah. then it is doom and gloom. It is, yeah. But if we do what he says yeah. to do, Amen. then it turns from judgment into blessing. Yes. Now, I, I, it, should I just read the whole thing? I Let think me so. read because it's, it's so, so important. Powerful. Church of Thyatira. Yeah. Revelation chapter 2, verse 18. And to the angel of the church of Thyatira write, these things says the Son of God, 
who has eyes like a flame of fire mm -hmm. and feet like fine brass. And I won't get into all that. It's it, Those teachings are on the tapes. Yeah. I know your works. He's saying this. Now, he's not only saying this to the church. Right. He's saying it to you and I individually. Yeah, yeah. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience, as you, uh, and as for your works, the last or more than the first. You're doing stuff. Yeah. Nevertheless, I have a few things against mm -hmm. you because you allow the woman Jezebel, Oof. who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and beguile my servants mm -hmm. to commit sexual immorality and to eat things sacrificed. Mm. Now, what he's saying to us, he said, I know you're doing good works. You're doing acts yeah. of charity. I know this and that, but you've, you're allowing, not even necessarily participating. There you go. You're yeah. allowing right. these immoral sexual teachings and not standing up against wow. them. Look what he says. I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, but she did not repent. Now, I believe that's a word individually. I believe that's right. a word to the church, and yeah. I believe that's a word to the United States of America. I do too. In what, where we're at sexually right now yeah. in our country. Yep. Says, I gave her time to repent, but she did not. Indeed, I will cast her into a sickbed, mm. and those who commit adultery with her into a great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds. Mm. And I will, I have a hard time reading, I've written in so much. I will kill her children with death. Whoa. Now, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that's a physical thing. That's right, a spiritual right. thing. Yeah. And, uh, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, and I will give each one of you according to your works. Mercy. But to you, I say, and to the rest of Thyatira, and as many as do not have this doctrine, this sexual immorality doctrine, yeah. and who have not known the depths of Satan, because this kind of teaching, and I'm going to explain yeah. it, comes from the devil. Yeah, it does. Okay, we pit need to understand hell. that. The pit of hell. Satan, they, and they call them, I will put on you no other burden. In other words, this is an, an amazingly yeah. important issue I want right. you to deal with. Right. But hold fast to what you have till I come. Hold on to it. Yeah. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the mm -hmm. potter's vessels shall be broken into pieces and as I also have received from my father. And I will give to him the morning star. What an amazing teaching oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. We'll end with that. Yeah. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Now, let me just get in this. We're going to go to a break, and then we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. we, I am unbelievably mm. upset and angry with what is being allowed and promoted, promoted by our government right now yeah. as far as our children yep. and sexuality yep. being taught in the school. Now, I only have a few seconds, and then Tiz and I'll come yeah. back. The only ones who have a right to talk to your children yeah. about sexuality is the parents. It is not the school, and I am, I, and, and if we don't stand up, yeah and say something yeah. about this. Be a voice yes. at the school board, yes. in the government, everywhere yes. we go, and especially leaders in the church. Yep. They have no right talking to our children in kindergarten, in first grade, in third grade, or wherever it is about their sexuality. And listen to me. This is a sign of the end times that we have never, ever, ever seen before. Yeah. When we first got saved, they talked about as in the days of Sodom right. and Gomorrah. And we thought, that's got to mean something else. There's no way that America is going to embrace yeah. this kind of sexual immorality. Right. But we have gone way, way beyond, beyond Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. Yeah. where we have teachers, we have right. government officials, yep. we have the, uh, the White House threatening to arrest parents yeah. for standing up 
against this yeah. spirit of yeah. Jezebel. Yeah. It's an immoral spirit, yeah. and it's up to us to stand up yeah. and speak out and not yeah. allow this yeah. to happen. You know, we're going to go to a break. You know, as we're reaching out and saving lives of Jewish people right. around the world, right. Ethiopia and the Ukraine, this ties directly yes. with us standing up yes. and God saving us yes. in our own nation. Yes. Why is, how do the, Pastor, how are these things synonymous? When we reach out, you know, so, uh, 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 we've heard so many times that the Jewish people are the keepers of God's word. Yeah. They are the ones who have preserved yes. God's word yes. since the time of yes, Moses. Exactly. Here, God is saying to the church of Thyatira, yeah. you, are, you are allowing them to take the word yeah. of God. Mm. You're allowing them to take false teachings mm. and put them in amongst your people. Stand yeah. up. Yeah. Stand up. And yeah. if you stand up, and you'll see this at the end, yeah. if you stand up, I will give you the morning star. Where do you see how this ends? <laughs> when we reach out and we rescue Jewish people, That's it's exactly not just right. standing for Israel. Yeah. It is standing for Israel, not just yeah. standing for the Jewish people. It is standing for the Jewish people. But we're doing something that is so biblically yes. prophetic yes. of yes. bringing Jews back to the Absolutely. nation of Israel, yeah. carrying them, as the scripture says, yeah. on the arms, on the shoulders and the arms of the Gentiles. Yes. But what we're doing is we're making a stand of preserving, as the Jewish people yes. have done, yes. preserving the word yes. of God. Folks, yep. this is such, you tie these in together, the end times and the coming of the Messiah yep. and us going out a glorious church. Amen. This has yes. to do with us being bold yep. to say we will yep. not allow these things That's to be right. taught That's and right. being bold to say yeah. we are standing with the nation of Israel. Yes. Wait do you see how this ends. Stay with us. We're going to talk about the end of the church Amen. of Thyatira. And, and believe life. me, you want to be on yes. the winning side. We'll be right back. Being a blessing to Israel and to the most vulnerable is one of the greatest acts of kindness you could ever take part in. It's also how you activate God's promise in Genesis 12, 3, that those who bless Israel will be blessed. Today, we are asking for your help in providing tangible, practical support for the Ethiopian Jews making Aliyah to their ancestral homeland of Israel. Your offering will go toward alleviating the suffering they experience because of a civil war and the poverty in the refugee camps. With your offering of any size, we want to show our appreciation by sending you part three of Pastor Larry's series, Jesus and the Seven Churches of Revelation. It's a phenomenal prophetic journey that you need to be fully equipped to go through the end times as an overcomer. It contains four DVDs and four companion CD messages. With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add parts one and two of this amazing series to complete your collection. You'll receive 12 DVDs and 12 CDs. And most importantly, you will have the revelation of the Lord's end time blueprint on how not to miss the rapture and how to live with a full blessing of God in these perilous times. With your offering of $500 or more, we'll include this special edition American Patriots Bible. What makes this Bible so unique is the 254 historical articles describing the key events and people who have influenced our great nation with faith and who left us with an amazing biblical legacy there are also 48 beautiful full color insert pages, a family record section, a full index and concordance. During these turbulent times, our religious freedoms are being threatened. And when the enemy is trying to rewrite our national history, this just may become your favorite family Bible. To be a blessing to Israel today and to receive your thank you gifts, simply dial our toll free number at 800-978 
888-888-8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. Or if you prefer, visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv where you can donate online and select your gifts there. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. There's an ancient Jewish teaching that says, just before God brings you a blessing, He first gives you an opportunity to be a blessing. Your offering today, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, reuniting families, and fulfilling Bible prophecy. So thank you for joining with us in being a blessing to Israel. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I want to get into the teaching on the church of Thyatira, but remind you that uh, on on each church, I think every church I taught here yeah. at, at New Beginnings on the Seven Church of Revelations, oh, I did yeah. two weeks, yes. an hour teaching on each one of yes. them. So there's tons of information on there. There are 12, 12 CDs, 12 DVDs. These are months of teaching, but Larry, it's months and months of study yeah. and you gathering this information. I mean, this is a wealth of information for people to live in right now. You know, when, I, when I'm when i getting ready to teach something, I feel led by the Lord to yes. do something. I feel led. Yes. And then once I start studying and researching and yeah. pulling out not only oh. Christian doctrine, but, but rabbinical doctrine, yeah. it's amazing the revelation. It is. It is shouting Astounding. to us this. But also we've got you, and I thought we thought I this would be this. very, very, uh, uh, a very good time to give this to you, yeah. especially on the seven churches, the yeah. American Patriots Bible, I what our this. nation was founded on, yes. on the, yes. on the understanding of the word yep. of God. Let me get, let me get into the church of Thyatira. So the church of Thyatira, they're good people. They're doing this, but they've allowed the yeah. spirit of Jezebel right. tis to come in and infiltrate yeah. the church. Now, here, here. You know what? You know what angers me is that why isn't why aren't more Christians yeah. shouting from the rooftop? Yeah. You will not teach this kind of thing. Yeah. You know. All right. It's one thing, and and which I don't. We don't agree on. It's one thing to say adults this and adults that and 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 all of this. But now, because the church has yeah. not said anything, we've not been in an uproar about this, yeah. now it's gone to, we're going to teach your children. When our granddaughter, yeah. after COVID, went back to, to school, yep. and she was 11 years old, yeah. the first paper that they had them do was on being transgender. Yeah. That is none of, that is nothing more than this immoral spirit of Jezebel. Yeah. That is, and and it's up to us to say, we don't just pray and leave it in the, let me read you something th th that Jesus said yeah. in Matthew chapter five, verse 13, talking about the, the church, talking about you and I. Yeah. He said, you are the salt of the yes. earth, but if the yes, salt yes. loses its flavor, Come on. how shall it be seasoned? Yeah. You're the salt. You're the what preserves when you stand yes. for the word of God. You preserve yes. the world. Yes. If you lose that, it's good for nothing, nothing but to be thrown out and trampled Ooh. underfoot by men. Come on. Folks, our job is not just to come to church and sing kumbaya right, right. and make everybody feel good. Our job is to teach the word of God because the word of God as us being the salt and us being the light of the world, yeah. it preserves the world, it preserves our nation, yeah. it preserves our lives from the enemy. The Lord says this is a doctrine of Satan. Yeah. And yeah. we cannot allow this to no. happen. You know, I think a lot of people misunderstand what being a Christian is. A a absolutely. Being a Christian is not just, oh, I believe in Jesus. Being a Christian means to be Christ light. Yes. That means changing the world, standing for what's right, standing for God's covenants, God's commands, standing as a Christ-like person. Absolutely. And I think that we are losing this battle by default. Yeah. We're losing by default because we're just sitting back waiting for God to do something. When God raises up people to fight those battles. Absolutely. And it's time we get in the game. Absolutely. It There's this whole woke agenda. 
it's time for us to launch a wake up church yeah. agenda. Yeah. Let it, let our light shine. Yes. I, I've only got a couple of minutes and I want to capsulize what Tiz just said. The Lord says, if you, the Lord says, number one, hold to the church of Thyatira, to you and I, hold on to what you've got. Yeah. Listen, we're not against anybody. Not against We're anyone. not against, we're not mad at anybody, but no. I am mad about those who are trying to teach our children this. Yeah. We will not allow them to have our children. You know, yeah. a lot of people think when Israel was coming out of Egypt, Pharaoh said, you can't go until the very end. That's not true. There was at one point he said, Mo told Moses, all right, you, you guys go ahead and worship mm. God but leave your children here. We will not leave no our children behind. No way. But then he says, those of you who have not allowed this doctrine, hold on to what you've got. Yeah. Do not allow this doctrine to come mm -hmm. in. And then he says, I will give you the morning star. Yeah. The morning star is the, and, and you get all this teaching in there. It's, a, it's amazing teaching. The morning star is the brightest star in the morning. Yeah right when it's the darkest yeah. before the dawn. <laughs> and that morning star, <laughs> when you see it, when yes. it's the darkest, that morning star yes. is a promise from God. Yep. I am bringing you a dawning of a new yes. beginning. Amen. Esther's name, yeah. Esther's name is the morning, morning star. star. It, it, her Persian name is, is the morning star. Yeah. And I can't help but think, when things look the darkest yeah. for, the, for the children of Israel, for the Jews, Esther's uncle Mordecai said, Esther, for such a time as Come this, yes. you are the morning star. Yes. Rise yes. up and shine bright Amen. because there is a new beginning yes. coming yes. if you'll do this. Amen. This is exactly what God says. You know, the, churches of, the seven churches of Revelation looks like doom and gloom, and it is doom and gloom. Unless we have eyes to see and ears to hear yeah. and we rise up. And I'm a yes. firm believer yes. that the Messiah is coming soon. Come on. But I'm also a firm believer that if we continue to do, yep. hold on, speak yep. up in love, but we speak the truth yeah. and we stand for the nation of Israel. Yes. We stand for the Jewish people around yes. the world. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will yes. stand Absolutely. up for us Amen. and God will give yep. us the morning star. Come I on. declare as yep. we are a blessing to Israel, yes. God will be a blessing That's to right. us yes. and he is giving us, he is giving our yes. country, I prophesy Amen. as we bless Israel, Amen. the God of Israel will bless Bless us, and yes. he will give us a new beginning. There's a dawning. Yes. There is a new beginning coming to us, Amen. to you, your family, and to our country. Yes. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We want to release the anointing Amen. of the morning star yes. on you before we go. We'll be right back. You're watching this right now, as we say all the time. In ancient Hebrew, no there's word. no word for coincidence. You're watching right now yeah. because God wants you, think about this, God wants you to be the answer yeah. to somebody's prayer. Yeah. So we've already done what we thought we were going to do for the year concerning Aliyah, $1 million. But now we have to step up again for the end of the year because as you watch these wonderful, wonderful oh. Jewish people from the tribe of Dan, yeah. coming back after 2,000 years, they're praying, they're yeah. praying that God will answer their prayers. You're watching because God will use you Amen. to do a miracle in yeah. a Jewish person's life. Yeah. We wanna thank you thank beyond you. words for the thank partnership you. that Karen Hayazot, the Jewish agency, and all of us together doing what God is called us to do, fulfilling Bible prophecy. Watch this, the plane is about to land.
Being a blessing to Israel and to the most vulnerable is one of the greatest acts of kindness you could ever take part in. It's also how you activate God's promise in Genesis 12, 3, that those who bless Israel will be blessed. Today, we are asking for your help in providing tangible, practical support for the Ethiopian Jews making Aliyah to their ancestral homeland of Israel. Your offering will go toward alleviating the suffering they experience because of a civil war and the poverty in the refugee camps. With your offering of any size, we want to show our appreciation by sending you part three of Pastor Larry's series, Jesus and the Seven Churches of Revelation. It's a phenomenal prophetic journey that you need to be fully equipped to go through the end times as an overcomer. It contains four DVDs and four companion CD messages. With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add parts one and two of this amazing series to complete your collection. You'll receive 12 DVDs and 12 CDs. And most importantly, you will have the revelation of the Lord's end time blueprint on how not to miss the rapture and how to live with the full blessing of God in these perilous times. With your offering of $500 or more, we'll include this special edition American Patriots Bible. What makes this Bible so unique is the 254 historical articles describing the key events and people who have influenced our great nation with faith and who left us with an amazing biblical legacy. There are also 48 beautiful full color insert pages, a family record section, a full index and concordance. During these turbulent times, our religious freedoms are being threatened. And when the enemy is trying to rewrite our national history, this just may become your favorite family Bible. To be a blessing to Israel today and to receive your thank you gifts, simply dial our toll free number at 800 978 8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. Or if you prefer, visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv, where you can donate online and select your gifts there. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800 978 8546. There's an ancient Jewish teaching that says, Just before God brings you a blessing, He first gives you an opportunity to be a blessing. Your offering today, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, reuniting families, and fulfilling Bible prophecy. So thank you for joining with us in being a blessing to Israel. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I, I, I love the teaching of Thyatira, and please get the get the yes. tapes, the teachings. Yes. There, there's so much involved, but I believe God is speaking prophetically yep. that God is giving us Amen. our children back. Yes. I refuse to surrender, yes. and I know you do too. Yes. As you refuse to allow the spirit of Jezebel in our nation, Amen. as we're reaching out, saving Jewish lives, God is reaching in yes. to save our lives. Amen. Father, right now, in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord, God. your promise is you will bless those yes, who Lord. bless the mm. nation of Israel. These people Amen. right now, our yes, family, God. our partners yes. are called to be a blessing to Israel. Yes, and Father, Lord. we call on your yes, blessing on our yes. nation. We yes. call on your blessing on yes, our schools, Lord. our government, yes, our cities, God. our states, and yes, on our Lord. families. And we mm. claim our children Amen. are being brought yes. back into yes, the kingdom yes. of God Amen. by the power Amen. of God and that bright yes. and morning star. morning star. In Jesus' yes. name, amen, amen and amen. amen. We got to go. We love you guys. Love Join you. us tomorrow. Seven Churches of Revelation. God bless. Bye-bye.